Well, there's no end to the beleaguered aircraft maker Boeing's woes. A day after the shocking release of the internal messages from Boeing employees ridiculing regulators and damning the 737 MAX plane, the U.S. regulator, the Federal Aviation Administration, has sought to fine Boeing with $5.4 million for defective parts on the 737 MAX plane. The planes have been grounded worldwide since March after two fatal crashes, but the Federal Aviation uh, administration's proposed penalty does not refer to the flight control software that was implicated in the two deadly crashes in Ethiopia and Indonesia. Now, it's been a devastating week for the Boeing uh, group already. A Boeing plane crashed in Iran, killing all 176 people on board. Hundreds of internal messages were released that revealed employees boasting about bullying regulators to limit government scrutiny on the 737. Following the series of unfortunate and fatal events, Boeing fired the then CEO, Dennis Mullenberg. Mullenberg was criticized for failing to recognize safety risk and for allowing the company to cut corners to get the plane in the market. Boeing's ousted uh, CEO, Dennis Mullenberg, has departed with $62 million but without a severance pay. Well, Texas will no longer accept the resettlement of new refugees becoming the first U.S. state known to do so under the recent Trump administration order. In a letter, Texas Governor George Abbott said that the state has been left by the Congress to deal with the disproportionate migration issues resulting from the broken federal immigration system. He added that Texas has done more than its share. Texas has borders with Mexico and has long been the leader in settling refugees. Meanwhile, NGOs have condemned the Texas decision to say uh, no to refugees. Listen in. It's devastating. Um, uh, there are families that have been waiting literally years um, to be reunified with family members and uh, to have gone through all the hoops, the extreme vetting, that refugees go through, um, both through the UN as well as through our federal agencies, including the Dep Department of Homeland Security, the State Pro Department, etc., to now learn that finally they can be resettled to the US, but they can't actually be reunited with their families is heartbreaking.